Our Shannon Hauser has more tonight on why this is happening and what needs to change. Shannon. Well, in just the last three years, calls to Delaware County 911 have increased dramatically. That's according to statistics from the Justice Center. However, the number of dispatchers has stayed the same, and it's made it difficult to answer all those calls. May 6th, 9.08 p.m., Muncie. Delaware County 911, where's your emergency? Yes, can I get an ambulance at 1424 East Hold on, hold on. What's the address? 1424 East. It's four. Now, what is it? I can't. I don't understand what you're saying. A frantic woman calls 911 after an eight year old boy was shot. You can hear the dispatcher struggling to understand her on the other end of the line. I don't know. I don't know. They're saying he was shot with something. The, he said, What? Is he choking? He's throwing up. I don't know. We had a 911 call. Out of this call isn't the first of its kind in Delaware County. Everything's about timing. You know, your goal is to get an address, the nature of the problem, and send somebody. 911 Director Joe Winkle says they have a major staffing issue. With 31 full time and eight part time employees, he says it's difficult to keep and train qualified dispatchers. Our retention is only about 50%. And what's happened is people are either finding another job making a little more money or they're finding a job with some kind of benefits. And uh, it seems like we're just constantly training. He's asked the county council for funding to hire three additional full time employees. That's a price tag of about $50,000 a piece for salary training and insurance. It's hard to find anybody with dispatch experience. Delaware County 911, where is your emergency? Until you answer that 911 call with somebody screaming on the other end. We don't know if you're going to be any good or not. Winkle says the funds are critical to saving lives. People shouldn't be hesitant to call 911. It's probably the most important call these people ever make. Now, council members will vote on the funding at the end of June. We will keep you posted on those results. In the newsroom, Shannon Hauser, Fox 59 News. Shannon, thank you. New developments right now. One of